Hello everyone. We are starting with the second variant of October November 2012 M1 paper and in this second variant there are three questions that we are focusing our attention on that is question number 2 question number 5 and question number 6 these three were the questions that students found most challenging so let's directly move to those questions question number 2 let's have a look particle a its mass is mkg particle b its mass is 1 minus mkg they are attached to the ends of a light inextensible string which passes over a fixed smooth pulley the system is released from rest straight parts of the string vertical a moves down and 0.3 seconds later it has a speed of 0.6 meter per second find the acceleration find the value of m the tension in the string now what is this question about this question is about connected particles connected particle relate this particular topic relates with resultant force is mass into acceleration this particular equation is used according to newton's second law of motion and of course there would be a sprinkle of equations of motion for constant acceleration as long as two particles are attached in the scenario this is the scenario of a simple pulley they will have a common acceleration since a is heavier how do we know that because it says so since a is he heavier a moves down b moves up so now there are two approaches to this question either you first go along your principle of writing down equation for each particle for particle a for particle b add both of them you will find the equation of the system and since there are some unknowns you might have to resort to equations of motion or first use equation of motion find the acceleration then go to the f is equals to ma equation the order does not make a difference so what i have done is that mass of a is m mass of b is 1 minus m a is heavier mg minus tension is mass into acceleration for the other one tension minus the remaining mass multiplied by gravity tension minus 1 minus m a bracket close g is equals to 1 minus m into a it is a pretty simple question just take care of these strange things add both the equations simplify it take care of the plus minus sign take care of multiplication what happens is that 2 mg minus g is acceleration now where is the acceleration how can i find it i can find it using a simple equation of motion and therefore acceleration comes out to be 2 meter per second square i plug this acceleration in this equation i can simplify it first that's up to me on how should i how i want to proceed with the working so therefore 2m is equals to 1.2 therefore m comes out to be 0.6 that means the weight of the particle a is 0.6 kg and the weight of the particle b is 0.4 kg so i have found the acceleration of a i can plug in this m into any one of the equation of course my preference should be plugging in the simpler equation which was the first equation make t the subject take m common out and then substitute in the values that is the cardinal rule of math so that your working is impeccable so that's how you get the value of tension so that was question number 1 question number 2 i think and then there was question 5 this is question 5 let's read it abc are three points on the line of the greatest slope of a plane which is inclined at theta degrees to the horizontal a higher than b and b higher than c it is very much advisable that you draw a nice neat clean diagram between a and b 
the plane is smooth. Between B and C, the plane is rough. A particle P is released from rest on the plane at A slides down the line ABC. At time 0.8 seconds after leaving A, the particle passes through B with speed 4 meter per second. Find the value of theta. First, let's do up till the first part. This is the diagram. This is smooth. The other portion is rough. That means for the smooth portion, I can find the value of acceleration using equation of motion. And acceleration comes out to be 5 meter per second square. And then for the portion AB, what should I apply? I can apply resultant force as mass into acceleration. Newton's second law, F is equals to MA, where F stands for resultant force. What is the resultant force if a particle is sliding down an inclined plane? Mg sine theta minus no resistive force is mass into acceleration. Cancel of the M and simply work it out so it's a nice beautiful angle that is 30 degrees. Now, when you have to do the working for the rough portion, what does it say? At time 4.8 seconds after leaving A. Now, be very, very careful. It took 0.8 seconds to move from A to B. That means from B to C, it will not take 4.8. It will take only 4 seconds. 4.8 minus 0.8 is 4 seconds. The particle comes to rest at C. Find the coefficient of friction. In any question related to friction, it is a necessity to calculate R first. So we know our basic resolution of forces. R is mg cos theta. F max is mu R. Therefore, u is 4, v is 0, t is 4. Therefore, acceleration, which is negative, deceleration, that comes out to be minus 1 meter per second square. So for the portion BC, for the rough part, mg sine theta minus f max, r is mu, r is mg cos theta, f max is mu r, therefore f max is mu mg cos theta. So for this portion, we know that mg sine theta minus mu mg cos theta is mass into acceleration. Again, cancel off the m's because m was, m was there everywhere. You won't get any extra credit. To do the working with M. Yes, you definitely would impress the examiner by taking common and cancelling it out. So therefore, G sine theta minus mu G cos theta is A. And what are we looking for? We are looking for mu. So make mu the subject. And after you have made mu the subject, plug in the values. Take care of the plus minus sign. Evaluate and then you get the answer as 0.693. The value of mu is 0.693. So that's how question number five was to be done. Let's move to question number six. It says a car of mass 1250 kg moves from the bottom to the top of a straight hill of length 500 meters. The top of the hill is 30 meters from the level of the bottom. The power of the car's engine is constant, equal to 30,000 watts. It could also have been written as 30 kilowatts. Car acceleration is 4 meter per second square at the bottom, 0.2 meter per second square at the top. Resistance is 1,000 Newton. Find the car's gain in kinetic energy, the work done by the car's engine. Now, the examiners at CAIE are pretty creative. Don't expect the same old traditional style of question each time. Whenever we see a question that involves an engine, whether it's a car or a truck or a lorry or a motorcycle or anything in which external force is applied, the very first thing that comes into mind, what I have taught you is the case four of work energy principle. Remember what was case four? Let me remind you. Case four was... Work energy principle. What it says is that 
work done by e e could stand for external force e could stand for engine that is change in potential plus change in kinetic plus work done against resistance that's how the placement of the four items in this equation are this is always on the left hand side this is positive this is always on the right this is positive potential change in potential could be positive negative zero depending upon if you are increasing if the particle is increasing in height but change in potential is positive decreasing change in potential is zero flat ground horizontal level change in potential is zero so positive height increases negative height decreases zero if there is no change in height what do you think would be the scenario for kinematic for kinematic for kinetic energy uh, the scenario would be increase in speed positive change decrease in speed negative change constant speed no change so that's how it goes now remember one other thing also if i draw a line like this it's not drawn to scale and it's something like this let me erase the extra portion if i have the height if i have the distance along the plane can i find the angle of inclination yes i can say sine theta is h over d now remember this thing because i'll be using this up in the second part now in this question this is the particle at the bottom this is the particle at the top at the bottom and at the top the new thing that the examiner has used is that first we are using f is equals to ma resultant force is mass into acceleration resultant force is the force produced by the engine minus the resistive force minus the weight component is mass into acceleration so for the bottom that's how it goes that is 1250 into 4 for the top 30000 over vt minus 1000 minus the same weight component is mass into a different acceleration those two accelerations were given now what thing is missing the angle actually we don't need the angle we need sine of that angle now look at this question sine is change in height divided by the length of the incline so in this scenario the change in height is 30 length of the incline is 500 so therefore i'll just plug this thing over here i'll plug this thing over here i'll do the working i'll find vt as 15 i'll find vb as 4.44 meter per second that means from bottom to the top since there is an increase in kinetic there is an increase in speed therefore the change in kinetic is positive now for the second part that is pretty straightforward the tricky part was the first one the second part was straightforward work done by the engine is the same three things added together work done against resistance that's 1000 into 500 change in potential m g h i have h i can apply that change in kinetic energy half m v square which is 15 square minus 4.44 square and then you write everything in this equation work done by the car engine that is change in potential positive change in kinetic positive work done against resistance is always positive you add them up and then you get the answer so those were the three questions in this particular uh, variant of uh, mechanics m1 so what is if there is any other question feel free to ask and you can also write in the comment section if there is any question which you want to be addressed take care